Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. We are the light of the world. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. We are the light of the world. Come on in the house, come on in the house. There's room for you in the house. Come on in the house, come on in the house. There's room for you in the house. We are grateful that God is with us. We are grateful that God is with us. And it's high time to pray. It's high time to pray with Pastor Val. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a wonderful day. It's a marvelous day. It's a day that we've never seen before and heaven therefore obtained help from God, we continue unto this day witnessing to those both great and small. Good morning and thank you for joining us this morning. Please like and share, like and share, hallelujah, as we go forth declaring the word of the Lord in our prayer. It's a wonderful day, and we're grateful that the Lord have allowed us to continue on this platform with our series, amen. In the book of Ephesians, we're on chapter five now, and for today, we'll be reading verses eight through 14, amen, and let's begin to read that now. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Excuse me. Excuse me. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Excuse me. But rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. <clears throat> Pardon me, please. Wherefore he saith, Awake that sleepeth, and arise, hallelujah, from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. <clears throat> hmm. This morning, may the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and the doers of his holy word. Hallelujah. God bless you this morning. Come on in the house. We are grateful for the reading of the word. And that's Ephesians 5, 3 through 14 that I have read for your hearing. And may the Lord bless those amen, that are also doers of his holy word. We're grateful today because it's of the Lord's doing that uh, we are here, amen. And it's so wonderful to know that the Lord have chosen us to be his lights, lights of the world, amen. How about that? We are the lights of the world. The Lord have chosen us to be his lights. And we are so grateful, amen, to be the light of the world, missionary Mosby, that God has saw fit 
amen, to grace us, amen, with that honor. Good morning, and excuse me. Amen. We're grateful. Amen. For all of you that are chiming in, remember to like and to share. Amen. To Pat and to each of you. Amen. As we go forth in our prayer, praying and working with the word of the Lord. Amen. Praying with the word. Amen. We pray the word of the Lord. And that is what we'll do even on this morning as we have noted as lights of the world that we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Excuse me one more time. Amen. Hmm. Amen. And our focus prayer this morning will be walking in the light. Walking in the light. Hallelujah. We are children of the light. Hallelujah. No longer do we walk in darkness. Our spiritual likeness have come on. And we're now children of the day. Children of light. Hallelujah. So that's going to take us to our prayer this morning. God bless each of you that are coming on in the room, Brother Larry. May God continue to grace each of us as we go forward in our prayer. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this lovely day that you have made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's a wonderful day. It's a marvelous day. It's a day that we have never seen before. And Father, we pray, oh God, that you just continue to shine the light from above mm, upon us. Help us, Lord, as we go forward in you, doing those things that are pleasing unto you. Excuse me. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Even for touching us on this morning, oh God, as we complete the assignment that you have for our life. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are God and that there's no God like unto you. And we pray, Lord, that you continue to rain your blessings upon us as we continue to shine, hallelujah, your love throughout this world. And Father, we thank you, Lord, hallelujah. That it's because of you that we are not consumed. It's because of you, Lord. Hallelujah. That we continue to go forward even into this present hour. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That we can depend on you. Hallelujah. Because you are truth. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That as we go forward, Amen. As we thank you, Lord, that you have awoke us out of sleep, not only naturally, hallelujah, but spiritually, hallelujah. And we're so grateful for that today, hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, hallelujah, that it is our desire to help others to awake out of sleep mm. because the night is far spent and the day is at hand, hallelujah. And as Apostle Paul is uh, sharing with us in this chapter, you know, as he uh, discusses that for sure we are to uh, love one another as Christ have loved us. Hallelujah. And then he goes on to share with us how to be pure and how to be holy. Hallelujah. How to live holy. And this is pretty much where we are. In this passage of scripture, praying the word this morning, hallelujah, on holy living, hallelujah. It's just that time, hallelujah, for us to live holy. It's time for us, Evangelist Harper, to walk upright before him. It's time for us to do those things, hallelujah, that would uh, make those that are not in the light, hallelujah, see the difference between light and 
darkness. Hallelujah. So as we go forward, amen, praying the word according to the scripture, amen, uh, and we're speaking on walking with God, and we know that um, Enoch walked with God according to Genesis 5, 22, and Enoch walked with God, hmm? and begat Methuselah 300 years, and begat sons and daughters, and all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years, and Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Hallelujah. That's one of the uh, ones in the Bible, hallelujah, that he walked so close to God, to God just whoo, caught him on up to be with him. Hallelujah. How about that? Hallelujah. Whereas we're now you know, in great expectation of the rapture, you know, if we don't go by the way of the grave, hallelujah, Enoch back in the day walked so close with the Lord, hallelujah, that he didn't even have to experience the grave, the Lord just caught him on up in the air to be with him, hallelujah, so we are grateful, hallelujah, that we know that there is someone that walked close with the Lord, you know how sometimes in the midst of what all that's going on, uh, some of the uh, church folks will say, well, everybody else is doing it. Why can't we do it? Well, how close do you want to walk with the Lord? Hallelujah. Because there's a difference in light and darkness day and night. And we are children of the day and we walk close uh, with the Lord. The Bible declares in Genesis 6, 9, these are the generations of Noah. Noah was just, was a just man and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. And that's what we want our heritage to be. That we're ones, hallelujah, that we walked with God. That's what you want your legacy to be. That, hey, Valerie walked with God. Trish walked with God. Ruby walked with God. That's what you want it to be, that you walked with God. Why? Because we are children of light and our God is light. He's the light of the world. And now that we're his body, we are the lights of the world. Let the church shout hallelujah. The Bible declares hallelujah as we pray the word of God, Malachi 2.6. The law of truth was in his mouth and iniquity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and in equity and did turn away from iniquity. How about that? You walk so close to the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not a desire of yours at all to do anything. Hallelujah. That would offend the spirit of the living God, to walk close with the Lord. And that's why we're on this Facebook Live, YouTube now, because it is our determination. It is our desire to walk close with the Lord. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, in Revelations 3, 4, the Bible declares hallelujah. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments and they shall walk with me in white for they are worthy. Ha. Raise your hand if you want to be declared worthy. Hallelujah. If you want to be declared worthy and to walk with the Lord in all white in that day, hallelujah, then you have got to lay aside, hallelujah, those things that does those sins that does so easily beset us, hallelujah. And we have to run this race with patience, hallelujah. Why? Because we are determined to walk with God because we know our assignment and we are children of the day. We are those that walk in light, in the light. Let the church shout hallelujah.
Ah, we praise the Lord as we pray, hallelujah, for all of our loved ones and family members, hallelujah, that they will awake out of sleep and get this revelation, hallelujah, that the time is nearer than when we first believed. It is time to wake up and to realize that we are children of the light. We're no longer walking in spiritual darkness. Hallelujah, because we are, hallelujah, children of the light. Hallelujah. And as we pray the word, hallelujah, noting, hallelujah, that God is with us and God desires for us, hallelujah, to know the difference. Hallelujah, because there is a difference between light and darkness. There's a difference between day and night. And as referencing to spiritual darkness, amen. We pray uh, the word of God according to Matthew 6, 23. But if thine eyes be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? Hallelujah. So it's our desire, hallelujah, to be in the light. Hallelujah. Not in darkness. Hallelujah. John 1, 5 declared, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehendeth it not. Anytime you walk into a room and there is complete darkness. When you click that switch, what happens? The light comes on and darkness has to flee. Hallelujah. And that's the way it should be when we enter into an atmosphere where it's, you know, it's a lot of darkness. And when I say darkness, I mean children of darkness. Hallelujah. They're doing those things. Hallelujah. There should be a difference in what we do as children of the light than children of the darkness. Hallelujah. Oh, God, even in the spirit. Hallelujah. According to John uh, 3, 19. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light. Why? because their deeds were evil. If you notice a lot of crimes, although now during, they commit crimes during the day now, this is the end times, hallelujah, anything goes at any time. But normally people want to do their evil wickedness, hallelujah, in the nighttime when it's really dark outside, hallelujah. They'll go to creeping around, hallelujah. I call them creepy crawlers, hallelujah. Doing those things that are evil and doing those things that are wicked, hallelujah. But we are children of the light, hallelujah. We're no longer in spiritual darkness, why? Because we've been born again, born of the water and born of the spirit. And we invite each and every one to be born of God, hallelujah. Ah, this is the new birth that we speak about. Hallelujah, Romans 13, 12, and we pray the word, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the work of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Ah, you ought to help me pray this morning and uh, type in the chat, do you have your armor on? We need on the armor of light, the whole armor of light. Why? Because the night is far spent. I just mentioned to you how it was a time, hallelujah, years ago, where people only would do their wickedness in the nighttime. Hallelujah. They'd only, uh, rob you or uh, break in your house at night. But now times have gotten so bad, hallelujah, to not only will they rob you in the daytime, not only will they break in your house in the daytime, they will shoot and kill you in the afternoon, hallelujah. 
Oh, I declare, this is a time more than ever, Zion. You talking about it's high, high time to pray. It's high time to pray. Anytime, you know, as far as they're opening up the cities in the midst of this pandemic and you're walking down the avenue, Broadway and New York City with your little one and just shooting starts breaking out. I tell you, it's time to pray because see, it used to be a time whereas you think, oh, well, it's only the old ones that are dying. But now you could be four year old in the arms of your mom, hallelujah, and get shot. We never know where death is. So this is why the night is far spent. The day is at hand. It's time for us to seek the Lord now more than ever. Come on, somebody, hot, type in the chat. Do you have your armor on? You need that armor of light on. Hallelujah. Ah, why? So we can thwart off. Hallelujah. All of the evil darts that Satan has to throw at you. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, the Bible declares, and we pray according to the scripture, hallelujah, whereas the word of God has said, ah, 1 Thessalonians 5, 4, but ye brethren are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief. Why? Because we're awake, hallelujah, we're woke. Hallelujah. We're aware of the day that's at hand. Hallelujah. We're not under a rock sleeping somewhere. We know, hallelujah, that with everything that's happening, all of the bombing, all of the wars, the rumors of wars, hallelujah, we know that the time is getting closer and closer. Every moment we breathe, hallelujah. So this day is not overtaking us as a thief, hallelujah, that's coming to rob you and catch you unaware. Oh no, we're alert and we're aware. Why? Because we have our spiritual antennas up. Oh yes, they are up, hallelujah. So we're not only praying, but we're watching. So we're alert to what's going on in our society and to what's happening on us. Hallelujah, around us. Hallelujah. And then we pray according to the scripture in 1 Thessalonians 5, 4. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. Hallelujah. I did just read that. It won't hurt one more time. That the day ahead should overtake you as a thief. Don't be overtaken as a thief. Be alert. Watch and pray. Hallelujah. And this is what we're doing. I am so grateful that the Lord, hallelujah, afforded us the privilege to be on this platform to pray. Hallelujah. He gave us this over a year ago. Hallelujah. And I tell you, I can only do it as the Lord gives me. I'm not anybody else, not trying to be anybody else, but I'm doing the assignment that the Lord has given me. And I'm so grateful because in the midst of this, of course, I'm praying the word and I pray that you're praying the word with me. We're learning more of the word. We're practicing more of the word and certainly as we are reading and praying the word, it's making us more alert every day. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, because we are, hallelujah, sons of the light. Hallelujah. And there's certain things that sons of the light do, hallelujah, that others that are not of the light do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible declares, and we pray according to the word, hallelujah, for sons of the light, Luke 16, 8, and the Lord commanded the unjust steward because he had done wisely. 
For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. Hallelujah. So therefore, the Lord commended the unjust steward. Why? Because he had done wisely. And see, children of the light, we must learn to be wise. We It's time out for the world, the children of the world being wiser than us. We must ask the Lord. The Bible said, if anyone lack wisdom, let him ask and the Lord will give it to you liberally. He wants you to be wise. Hallelujah. So ask for wisdom. Hallelujah. I think that's a good way, a good place for us to pause right now and say, Lord, grant us your wisdom. Forgive us of anything that's not like you and grant us your wisdom. Lord, we need your wisdom. Hallelujah. And then we pray according to John. Hallelujah. 12, 36, because we are sons of the light. While ye have light, believe in the light that ye may be children of light. These things spake Jesus and departed and did hide himself from them. The Lord have left us his word. And on top of that, he left us his Holy Spirit. Come on, Zion. We are children of the light. Let your light so shine. Hallelujah. Before men that they'll see your good works and they'll glorify your father, which is in heaven. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, we're grateful this morning that the Lord have chosen us to be children of the light. He could have chose anybody, son. He could have chose anybody, daughter, but he chose us. And for that, we are grateful. And we're going to let our light shine. Hallelujah. You don't have to make it shine, but just let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. <laughs> let it shine. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is clear as we continue to pray the word of God. Hallelujah. Knowing that we are sons of the light. Ephesians 5, 8 declares, for ye were sometimes darkness, huh? But now ye are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Hallelujah. So whereas everything is expedient to do, it's just some things that children of the light are not going to do. Why? Because we don't want to trip up our little babes in Christ. We don't want to trip up those or cause those that may be desiring to have a walk with the Lord. We don't want to trip them up because we're doing something that there's a, a line there. Oh my God, where they would say, I thought she said she was saved or I thought he said he was saved. No, hallelujah. But we want to be clear. We want to walk the walk and talk the talk, hallelujah, because we are certainly sons, daughters of the light. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, First Thessalonians 5, 5, as we pray the word declares, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness, hallelujah. We don't have to go in a dark room to do what we want to do. We can do it in the light. Hallelujah. I remember when I was a young little girl, it was a mother that mother walking. Wow. She was a big stout woman and she come down the middle of the aisle of Zion and she said, come on out the corner. You can't hide. No, 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 no. You can't hide. Why? Hallelujah. God sees darkness as daylight. You can't hide anyway. So come on out the corner. Oh, 
<laughs> she would sing that song and she be stepping. <laughs> Praise ye the Lord. We are children of the light. Hallelujah. Come on out the cold because you can't hide. Honey, my God, see you. Hallelujah. Oh, that is a blessing. That is a blessing. That is a blessing. Hallelujah. And as children of the light, certainly there's fruit that we must bear. Hallelujah. You say you are a child of God. Hallelujah. Then you must bear some fruit. Is that right? Hallelujah. Psalms 92, 13, as we pray the word, those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Come on here, Zion. Hallelujah. We shall flourish in the courts of our God. I'm reminded of some of the old saints of Zion. Hallelujah. That when I was a little girl, would pick us up for church. Didn't have much. Hallelujah. But I tell you, as time went, those saints, some of them are yet living. Hallelujah. They're flourishing, yet flourishing in their old age. They're yet bearing the fruit. Hallelujah. Love, gentleness, kindness. Hallelujah. Being long-suffering, bearing the light of the world. Why? Hallelujah. Because God is with them. They're children of the light. Hallelujah. Children of the day. And they are bearing spiritual fruit. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible declares in Galatians 5, 22, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. Just do as much of that as you want. Hallelujah. Ah, my God. You got many varieties of fruit you can bake. So do it as much, hallelujah, as you please. Hallelujah. And fruit without defect. Ephesians 5, 9 said, For the fruit of the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. God got it all planned. The pattern is set. All we have to do is walk in the light. Walk in the light as you see the light. As you hear the light, walk therein. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, why? Because we are products of heavenly wisdom. God has us on his mind. He declared in James 3.17 as we pray his word. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, hmm? then peaceable, gentle, and easily, easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Now, listen here. You mean heavenly wisdom. Now, that's talking some heavenly wisdom. Hallelujah. But God has it. Everything that we need. Now, listen to this, Zion. He has it in an abundant supply. Hallelujah. That's one thing about our God. He owns it all. He said, all the wealth of the world is mine. He says, I even give you power to get wealth, to obtain wealth. Hallelujah. So our God has it all. Whatever you need, he said, ask me that your joy might be full. He wants you to know as you are children of the light, walking in light, hallelujah, that he's going to care for you. Hallelujah. And he has righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You all know, hallelujah, that it is our desire to be right, to do those things that are righteous, hallelujah, and the Lord has given us his word, hallelujah, to go forward, hallelujah, as we continue to do 
righteous. Hallelujah. As we continue to do those things that please the Lord. That is my prayer. Lord, I want to please you. Help me to please you. What about you? Is that your prayer? You want to do those things that please the Lord. Hallelujah. Hebrews 10, 12 declare, sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up the fallow ground for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Somebody help me pray this morning and tell the world it's time to seek the Lord. It's time to seek the Lord now more than ever. We can't preach to our young folks our old folks, middle-aged folks, and tell them enough, now is the time to seek the Lord. Break up that fallow ground in your heart. Make up your mind. I don't want to do this foolishness no more. I don't want to do this wickedness no more. I want to seek the Lord while he may be found. I want to call upon the Lord while he is near. Let the church out. Hallelujah. Ah, Matthew 5, 20 declares, for I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. So that means, Zion, we must be busy. We must be busy doing the work of the Father. Hallelujah. We must be busy. Hallelujah, loving one another. Amen, because that's how the world is gonna know that you are my disciples when you show love one to another. I tell you people, I tell you, you may not know them, but you'd be surprised at the people that know you. I just think about how yesterday I was just going about doing business for the church and taking care of the business and how every place I went, somebody knew me. And I'm thinking, oh my God. See, that's why you got to let your light shine. Hallelujah. Because you may not know them, but they are watching you. Hallelujah. And they're letting you know, oh, I see you. You're doing a great work. Hallelujah. I'm so proud of you. To God be the glory for the things that he has done. For he continues to shine his light from the lighthouse on us. Why? So that we can be sunbeams and let it, hey, shine right back to the world. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6, 14, and our time is rapidly moving. Hallelujah. Stand therefore, having your lawn skirt about with truth and having on the blessed breastplate of righteousness. Zion, we must make up our minds that we will do right. Hallelujah. We will do those things that become righteousness. We must do right. Hallelujah. Because our God is taking a note and everybody around you that see you, they're taking a note too. Philippians 1, 1, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ unto the glory and praise of God. God has given us what we need. All we need to do is let our light shine because we are children of the light, walking in the light. Hallelujah. I'm not going to get a chance to go through all the verses because our time is out. But I do want to pray, hallelujah, for this nation, hallelujah, for our world today, hallelujah, because whether you realize it or not, this world is in trouble and it's like a woman in travail. It's happening so fast, hallelujah. Mm. When you turn on the news, you never know what you're going to see, what's happening. So I want to say to each of you, while today is called today, 
seek the Lord. Hallelujah. Call upon him. And Lord, that's what we want to do right now. Hallelujah. We want to seek you. We want to pray for our president and his cabinet. Hallelujah. That you would give them the wisdom that they need to make these decisions. Hallelujah. Critical decisions in this critical hour. Hallelujah. Pray for the nations of the world. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God, for our brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. That are in foreign countries, Lord. Hallelujah. We pray for all of those that are affected, hallelujah, so severely by this dreadful disease of COVID-19. Father, we pray for them, hallelujah. You said that healing is the children's bread. And Father, we thank you this morning, hallelujah, that we are the children. We are your children. We are the sheep of your pasture. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that we can come to you, hallelujah, for you are the rock that'll never give away. And Father, we thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for all that you've already done for each and every one of us, how you've spared our lives, hallelujah, from that trapful disease, hallelujah, how you've kept our families, hallelujah. We thank you for your healing virtue that continues to heal us over and over, even though those symptoms may flare up from time to time. Lord, we yet thank you and we yet believe your word. We yet trust you, hallelujah, that by your stripes, we are already healed. Hallelujah for every one of them 39 whips. Hallelujah that you received on your back was for our healing, Lord. And we thank you, hallelujah, that we are healed. By faith, it is so. Father, we thank you, Lord, for all the gospel troopers, hallelujah, that have been so faithful, hallelujah, in being alive and their giving, hallelujah, praying unto you. We pray that you bless them abundantly, honey, meet every need. And Father, we thank you, hallelujah, for each one of our partners in ministry that are here on this Facebook Live. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that you abundantly bless them. Continue to give seed to the sore. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. For our producer, Trish. Hallelujah. Just continue to strengthen her body. Give her everything that she has need of. Bless, Lord, each one, one by one and name by name. Bless every family that's represented on this live this morning. Lord, we thank you, Lord, hallelujah, that you continue to keep us in perfect peace as we continue to keep our minds stayed on you. We pray for those that are grieving, hallelujah. And to Mr. Chuck Charles Jones, we pray for you in the loss of your brother, that the Lord just comfort your heart. Hallelujah. We pray, hallelujah, that God will give you beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. Ah, it is our prayer, hallelujah, that God will keep us, hallelujah, as we continue to look to the hills from which cometh our help, knowing that all of our help comes from the Lord. And Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over every situation, over every circumstance, hallelujah. Oh God, that are in the hearts of your people this morning. Oh God, you see and you know the details, hallelujah. Oh God, we come to you, Lord, with our hands stretched up and our hearts open, Lord, hallelujah to receive all that you have for us. And Father, we pray, hallelujah, oh God, that you continue to let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable with thee, Lord, for you are our strength and you are our redeemer. Father, we pray, hallelujah, for the boys and the girls, hallelujah, whose parents have abandoned them. Oh God, we pray for those that are incarcerated, those that are in the nursing facilities. Oh God, hallelujah, we come to you thanking you ah, for what you've already done, hallelujah, knowing that that opens the door for so much more. Father, we thank you. Mm. 
<laughs> oh my God, excuse me. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For this and all blessings. Mm. We seal it in the name of Jesus. Ooh, Abba. The one that died on Calvary's cross for you and for me. We seal this prayer. And Father, we pray. Excuse me. But as we go forward in you, that you help us, grace us to walk as children of the light. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 May the goodness of God rest, rule, and abide with you. Henceforth, now, and forevermore. Until we meet again, I thank you for joining us this morning. You can uh, view this rebroadcast 24-7 on our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube. We thank you for all of your love. We thank you for all of your support. Hallelujah. And we pray that the Lord bless you to have a spiritual week, hallelujah, as you continue to walk as children of the light. I've been your host this morning, co-founder, pastor of the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry, Valerie D. Clark. May God keep you and may his wind blow you further into the destiny that he has set for you. That is my prayer. I love you until we meet again. Mm. Shalom.